I don't care. I don't want to hear it, and I don't want to be a part of it. Great. He's sober. I don't need him now, though. He wasn't there when I was growing up. I know I have been bad, and that she drank because of that. I miss my daddy. He was sick and had to go away. As you listen to the kids, you know that addiction doesn't just belong to the addict. Addiction belongs to the family. It's my belief that parents truly love their children and genuinely want what's best for them. Yet that isn't the message that addictive behavior has conveyed. It's on page 151 of the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. It speaks to what is called the four horsemen, terror, bewilderment, frustration, and despair. Now, typically these emotions refer to the addicted person's relationship with the addiction, but they also describe the feelings of many recovering parents attempting to develop healthier relationships with their kids. The terror is sometimes quite obvious listening to the parents say, you know, my kids must hate me, or I've passed this on to my kids. The bewilderment may sound like, you know, who are these kids and what are they about? Or what do I have to offer them? I'm barely an adult myself. The frustration often occurs when the relationship doesn't develop as quickly as you want. And the despair may occur when you feel out of control in the parent department or think that you can never do enough to make things right. The Four Horsemen also describe the experience of many children living in an addictive family system. We so often think that kids don't see or recognize the addiction. We underestimate how much children have witnessed and understood. When my dad told me my mom was sick in bed, I knew it was from the alcohol and pills. I know where she keeps her stash. Every time my mom would get in the car, I wondered if she'd be coming home. I worried all the time about her getting in a fight or even a car wreck. My dad thought that he was hiding his use from all of us. But we're not stupid. To deal with these four horsemen, first and foremost, the most important thing that you can do for your children is to stay clean and sober. But I've often heard, well, you know, I'm going to take care of my recovery and then my kids are going to be okay. Or I'll focus on the kids when I get a year or two of recovery behind me. Or maybe, you know, they're so young right now, it doesn't really make a difference. Or they're more into themselves now anyway. Those thoughts are only going to fuel more terror, bewilderment, frustration, and despair. There are many little steps that you can take with your children, young, adolescent, or adult, to begin to be the parent that they need and the parent that you want to be. It begins with talking to your children about your addiction, the recovery practices, and finding new ways of connecting. Your children deserve to understand addiction for a host of reasons. They may be genetically predisposed toward addiction. Addiction is a significant part of who you are, their parent. And talking about it openly allows for the potential of becoming closer. You can help them to understand your behavior of the past and your commitment to recovery in the present. You can help the child to understand how his or her life has been affected. And finally, because we live in an addictive culture, your children will have others in their lives who will also abuse alcohol and drugs. Now, the purpose of discussing addiction is not for them to immediately accept what you say or to suddenly forgive you. The purpose is that you are heard so that your children will take the information, digest it, and make sense out of it for themselves. Realistically, depending on your relationship, you will be able to reach out more blatantly to some children sooner than others. And do remember that discussion is not a one-time event, but a process in which conversations will occur over time. Opportunities will arise naturally and spontaneously for some discussions, while other conversations will need to be more intentional. Regardless of the age of the child, these eight basics need to be woven into discussions about addiction. Children need to hear that you love them, that you always have and always will. They need to hear that you're sorry for your behavior. They need to know that they are not at fault and in no way did they cause the need for you to drink, use drugs, or engage in any addictive behavior. Children need to know that you would like to have more openness and honesty in the relationship and that you realize this begins with you. Children need to hear 
that you will do everything in your power to abstain from the addictive behavior. They need to know that you will take responsibility for your behaviors and addiction and that you are now accountable for living differently and for your recovery. Children need to know that addiction is a family disease and that it often runs through the family generationally. And lastly, children need to know that you will listen to their experiences and be available if they want to talk.